are politicians rich? Well, that is what many Weibo users are asking online in recent days. And it just so happens a recent article from the New York Daily News provided some comparative numbers. Now, according to a Weibo post that cites the New York Daily News, one of the richest members of Congress in the U.S. is Republican Representative Daryl Issa, who had a fortune of $355 million. Other notable multimillionaire politicians in Congress include Senator Michael McCall with $101 million and Senator Mark Warner with $88.5 million. Now, the reason why so many Chinese Internet users are interested in the wealth of politicians is because in recent years, many people, including opinion leaders, have been asking for Chinese government officials to disclose their assets. Now, there have been several corruption cases over the years that have revealed Chinese government officials with huge fortunes, and people want to know how these fortunes are made. Now, for the American politicians, their assets are stated quite clearly. For example, Senator Mark Warner was a co-founder of Nextel. McCall's wife is the daughter of the Clear Channel Communications chairman, and Daryl Issa is a self-made millionaire and CEO of a company that made the Viper and Python car alarms. Chinese Weibo users are perfectly content if their fortunes are made through legitimate means. So now let's take a look at what they had to say about the story. Democracy in a capitalist society indeed belongs to the rich. So power and money goes together. That is true no matter which country you are in. If the income is legal, I don't think there should be anything wrong with being rich. 355 million is around 2 billion yuan. I think there are Chinese mayors who have embezzled more money. He is not rich by Chinese standards because no matter how big of a business you own, it is always quicker to simply take money of the taxpayers. I am not against those who want to make money, but they must make it legally. If there's a Chinese businessman who becomes a politician and is rich because he invented a new technology, then I will admire him. But in the case with China, our politicians use their power for corruption. Their fortune comes from bribes, graft, embezzlement, and illegal money laundering schemes. This is why we hate rich Chinese politicians. Some internet commenters commented that Chinese people probably know more about the incomes of American officials than they do with Chinese officials. And the matter of Chinese officials disclosing their income has become one of the hottest debated topics in recent months. In mid-July, just last month, a 40-year-old Chinese lawyer who was an advocate for justice and transparency was detained by the police and accused of disrupting public order. According to an article from the Wall Street Journal, while the Communist Party under new leadership have vowed to tackle corruption problems, a Wall Street Journal examination of some asset declaration programs that was previously announced showed that information which was briefly made available are once again hidden and that more than 450 supporters who advocated for more transparency, especially in regards to the assets of Chinese government officials, were imprisoned. Also, according to the Wall Street Journal, a number of websites that were designed to allow Chinese citizens to report on bribe paying or websites that let Chinese officials make asset declarations have been taken offline and can no longer be accessed. 